Guys, this is SD. Show you the progress uh, on our uh, wind generator build. Uh, I've talked with Orlando, uh, Billy, and uh, got it builds the uh, Belgrade system and kind of adapted three different ideas uh, off of their builds. And I'll try to explain it here as we go through on the front where the uh, blades are going to be mounted on. Uh, on Orlando's, he uses like a compression fitting. Here, go ahead and take that one piece off on the front. It's similar to how Belgrade secures his blades uh, to the shaft. And uh, so like a little small cup design. Pull that other piece off. And you'll see how it traps the rotor inside. If you look on the inside here, it's like a cup. I had a machinist do that for me. And we pull the blades off, or the hub off that the blades go on to. There'll be a 3 8 uh, disc that's mounted to the shaft and there's three holes here and those will be lined up and drilled through this plate also so the three bolts will hold that on plus the compression fitting will hold that on so they have four different things holding that on go ahead and put that back together Trying to do all this so there's no welding required on any of the finished products which, which throw things out of uh, alignment. Alright, now we go on. Everybody else is using different types of torque tubes. Uh, Orlando uses the 6 inch, uh, I think it's 3 8 thick wall. Billy used a 5 by 5 3 8 wall. I used a 6 by 6 because that's all I could get. And that's 3 8 wall. You got the big heavy pipe that they use on oil drills around here, oil wells. Got grease fittings top and bottom. Thrust bearing is going to go up here. And we're designing a completely different type of bearing system for that to ride on down at the bottom. You'll see that here in future dates. We got it sit, sitting at a uh, 6 degree pitch. So the front here is pitched up in the air just a little bit. And here we have our little torque tube, uh, or excuse me, our stator mounts. And then we'll go back and I'll show you what we did a little bit different here on the back where the magnet rotors are at. Go ahead and slide one off there. We still haven't drilled the holes for the uh, magnets yet, and I'll probably order the magnets this next month. Tolerance is really tight getting this off. If you notice there's no keyways on here anyway this is where our magnets are lo be located at we got 20 magnets they'll be set in uh, about an inch and an eighth in and then we'll have the same holes drilled all the way around use this as a template for the other one all right this is the next one that's key we have a spacer here now the magnets are uh, the one inch wide by uh, two inch long half inch thick magnets so that's going to be with one magnet on this rotor and the other one that's going to take up uh, one inch. The stator is going to be right at one inch thick. So this spacer that I have is set at two and a quarter inches. That'll leave me an eighth clearance between this magnet rotor and the other right magnet rotor going up against where the stator is at. And I can always shave this down if, if need to be to bring it in even closer to tolerance. But this design is set up so there's no welding it's going to throw these plates out of alignment and cup them or whatever. We'll try to get one off and I'll show you what we did on the back. Now on the back we had slots drilled through there and that uh, spacer on the back is threaded. We'll thread these back inside here with some of the red uh, Loctite. Lock this down and then this will go back on the shaft and the other other uh, rotor that had the uh, mag, uh, markings for the magnets that'll have uh, four holes threaded on that uh, that way we can use a uh, small thread and use it like jack bolts so once this is secured to the shaft then we'll be able to slide the other one back on using the jack bolts but what we're going to do is one more thing different when we set these uh, Allen uh, screws down inside there it should mark the uh, 
shaft slightly. We're going to slightly drill into the uh, shaft, whatever this diameter is, so these can th actually thread down into it slightly. There won't be threads in there. This, this, this will be actually uh, setting down inside, so it can't pivot left or right. It'll lock it in. It'll be locked in at two points. But again, everything's trying to... It's just, it's just experimental. This is tight tolerances on uh, even getting the rotors on there. And we still don't even have a thrust bearing in it. It's just the metal's polished up inside there. And we still got to get some grease fittings inside there and get these bearings lubed up. But it spins relatively fairly easy. And we'll still be working on it here. We've got a little bit more work. I figured I'd get this uh, uh, posted so you guys can see the progress we got going on this one too. Alright guys, we'll see you later.